when Golovkin was coming up and so many people were excited about him, calling him pound for pound, this and that, I was at the time still saying that I need to see more because that Kasimuma performance still had me questioning him to a degree. So I wasn't willing to, you know, put him top five or whatever the case may have been at the time. Same with Lomachenko because of the Salido performance, a fight that I didn't think was a good idea in the first place. I was hesitant to put Lomachenko pound for pound number one, I think up until he beat Rigondiao. Then that proved it to me. Um, but for some reason, those people who are supposed to be crazy fans of Triple G or crazy fans of uh, Lomachenko or Eastern European fanboys, you know, uh, for the most part, they were cool with me saying that. But then when I would put Naoya Inu into that same standard and just, just saying, you know, let's wait what else he has. Let's wait and see what else he has because he's taking a lot of clean punches from little dudes, uh, but he's walking through them and he's knocking them out. So it's like, yeah, clearly you could tell he has skills. But, you know, there were some performances like the David Carmona one where... You know, he kind of ran out of ideas and he didn't look like a complete fighter in, you know, in that fight, for example. And he basically was still getting better, still is getting better. And he still had a lot to prove, in my opinion. So, you know, I wasn't willing to just say, oh, yeah, he's number one pound for pound, you know, do the fanboy shit, that fanboy thing. Um, I just needed to see some, you know, a little bit more. I needed to see how well he takes these punches from guys his size or perhaps bigger, right? Duh. <laughs> you, want, you want me to put a guy on the pound for pound list, number one, right? When I see all these different little fighters hitting them cleanly and then he goes up and you can't take it from a guy his size or a little bit bigger and I look like a dumbass. So relax, everybody, relax. But I mean, yeah, since then, Naoya beat... Donaire and showed that he could fight hurt through the whole fight, keep his cool and arguably knock Donaire out even, right? And then he comes back from a pretty serious injury and dominates someone like Maloney, a skillful guy, right? Outboxes him and, and outpunches him and stops him and does it in very impressive fashion. Um, you know, I think his last two opponents have been Maloney is, yeah, they've they've all, all been bigger. The last two have been bigger than him, so, and he's taken their punches just fine or well enough, and they still can't take his. And you know he's got defense. Just because he gets caught here and there, he's got defense. He rolls with punches well. He counters. His punch technique is sweet. I mean, the fundos this guy has. Yeah, the defense could be a little bit better, but. He wants you to throw so he can counter, too. So that's part of it. He makes himself... He doesn't make himself a little bit available, but because he understands that his defense isn't perfect, and I'm sure he's still working on it, um, he capitalizes um, off of you hitting him, basically. He takes, he takes the steam off your shot as much as he can, even though he still gets hit pretty cleanly, and he counters you with his own better punches, so... Yeah, this dude is on point, man. No, yeah, you know what? For me, um, I may change my mind. I mean, you know, I'm still kind of impressed by his, his performance I just saw. Uh, but he's looking like the number one pound-for-pound -pound guy in the sport for me right now. I'll, maybe I'll spend more time thinking about this, and I don't know. People want to see a pound-for-pound -pound list. Some people do. Maybe I'll do that. Uh, but, yeah, I think... He may be the pound for pound number one guy for me. He's a, he's a complete fighter. He's a technician. He's got excellent fundamentals, skills. He's got power, speed. He's tough. Um, you know, he, he sets you up. He's a thinking fighter. He's very technical. 
very intelligent and aggressive, gets the job done. I mean, this dude is is the goods, man. The truth. And for me, yeah, um, probably the best fighter in boxing right now, pound for pound. Just an excellent, excellent, uh, really good fighter. I just, you know, for all you crybabies out there, uh, getting mad at me because I'm not fanboying the way you are, you know. I give credit where credit is due. And just because I don't share your, if indeed I am talking to you, standards, right? It's not what you what they call you, it's what you enter to. Um, you know, that doesn't make me a hater, but it could make you a fanboy. I'm just saying. I don't know that Donaire was that much bigger than him. Naoya is he's pretty wide. And man, he's he's burning up some uh some muscle right there. I think he's he's gonna fill in, I think. And still move up. Anyway, superb performance. Uh, very entertaining fight. Kind of a mismatch, but um Maloney was good enough to be able to hang in there, lend some of his own shots, and and take enough of them where he made the fight, you know, a little bit interesting here and there, maybe entertaining, fun, and you know, props to him. He's a good quality fighter. Uh, he could, you know, once Noe leaves the division, he could probably win the title again. Why not? So. Props to him. He showed up. He did his best. But, you know, I mean, that's just what happens when you fight arguably the best guy in the sport right now. It's just, it's just what it is. Nothing to uh, be ashamed of. Props to Maloney. He uh, he did his thing. But, you know, uh, it's just on another level. Thanks for watching.